What's up everybody, Jonesy here with another entry in the Hyperspace Database. The show that takes the great ships of Star Wars and gives you some secret history and trivia behind them. Today's topic, the A-Wing Starfighter. The A-Wing was a quick-strike starfighter that was developed after the rise of the Empire, and was used for recon and hit-and-fade tactics. The A-Wing was manufactured by Kuat Systems Engineering, and was mainly designed to be a hit-and-run craft with all of its essential parts crammed into its short 9 meter length. With the craft being so small, it was very fragile, and the pilots had to rely on its incredible speed in order to evade enemy fire. Since the craft had a very light frame, it was constantly under stress from its own systems, and could easily be destroyed in only a few hits, making it a ship for only the most adventurous of pilots. The A-Wing was a successor to the Delta VII and Ada II Jedi Starfighters, and although it possessed a hyperdrive and shields, it was modified to be even faster than the Imperial TIE Interceptor, which didn't possess either of those features. In the Legends continuity, it was developed by General Jan Dodonna with the help of Waylex Blissix, who interestingly also created the Delta VII Starfighter. It was developed to match the increasing variety of other TIE Fighters. To achieve the maximum speed that the A-Wing is known for, many other components had to be stripped away, such as an R2 unit for repairs and in-flight functions, as well as thicker hull plating and a heavier shield generator. The A-Wing did have an advanced sensor system and jamming system that allowed the craft to gather intel as well as scramble enemy starfighter instruments, but since the A-Wing was so jam-packed with essential components, the ship was known to break down often and was costly to repair. Pilots often nicknamed the ship Slims for two reasons. One being that they possessed a slim, narrow frame and cramped cockpit, and the other being that pilots had a slim chance of surviving a direct hit. There are a few different models of the A-Wing, from the RZ-1 that we are familiar with that participated in the Battle of Endor in Return of the Jedi, to the RZ-1T model that was used by Kanan Jarrus and Ezra Bridger in the Rebels TV show, and there was also the RZ-2 model that was flown by Talisan Lintra and other Resistance pilots during the evacuation of Dakar in The Last Jedi. The A-Wing possessed a reinforced heat shield in its front prow, and that function was utilized very effectively during the Battle of Endor in Return of the Jedi. After taking damage and losing control of his craft, Green leader Arvel Crinid crashed his A-Wing into the bridge of the Super Star Destroyer Executor, and caused it in turn to crash into the second Death Star. The A-Wing has been seen in many forms of media, from the Star Wars movies and TV shows, to multiple video games, novels and comic books, the A-Wing has seen it all. The A-Wing was eventually replaced with other craft that possessed heavier shielding and weaponry, but the A-Wing was seen as much as 44 years after the Battle of Yavin, and because of its blistering speed, was a capable fighter even though many superior fighters had been produced. Well guys, that about wraps up this episode. Be sure to stick around to the end for some secret trivia. Did you like what you saw? Let me know in the comments if you did. Tell me what some of your favorite ships are, or maybe what ship you'd like to see next. I'd love to hear from you guys. Be sure to check out our other videos as well, and hit those like and subscribe buttons, as well as the little bell to be notified every time we publish a new video. Thank you guys so much for your support, and we will see you next time.